Hello everybody, G Reviews here, and it is very warm in this room right now. God, why am I still wearing this? Um, today is going to be a gorillas related video. Woohoo! Um, what this channel is pretty much based on. I have taken the time to um, sit and listen to D-Sides, G-Sides, The Fall, and Like Come Home. That being in the form of um, digitally and on vinyl. Uh, because yes, I do have the 20th anniversary box set thingamajig that they did. Um, it's really good, you get it. I did a video on it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I... Um, as usual, I won't be going into specifics about the songs themselves. Um, what I mean by that is I won't be talking about composition and all that sort of jazz because I didn't go to music school, pretty much. These are just my feelings on these songs. And again, this is all just a harmless bit of fun. My opinions shouldn't be taken seriously. I know a lot of people did that last time. Well, not a lot of people, but some people did that last time when I did my ranking video, which again, was just for a little bit of fun. So, whatever I say in this video, probably I don't fucking mean. Again, all for fun. That's what this channel is for. So, um, The Fall, the uh, much talked about album, which... Um, I've heard, yeah, is just um, basically, you know, made on an iPad with like soundy thingy, musician, Korg, you know, text to speech, and I've I've heard people give this album um, a bit of a, a bad rap. Because it is made on an album and it's not like, you know, other gorilla songs and it's not like this and it's not like that. And it's like, well, what do you expect? It's made on an album. A, an album? Fucking hell. It's made on an iPad. Um, so I went into this not expecting anything crazy. Um, but a couple of my favourite songs is Phone to Arizona. I love that one. Detroit. Really like it. Snake in Dallas, yeah, pretty good song, pretty good song. So I'm not going to rank these in any way, shape or form. I'm just going to talk about my experience with them. So The Fall, I kind of liked, not that much. A lot of the songs on here didn't really vibe with me. Um, but, you know, it's still a good little album, especially for being made on an iPad. And I know that's probably going to be a very unpopular opinion with a lot of hardcore gorilla fans. But at the end of the day, it's my opinion. It's my video. And like I said, this is all just a harmless bit of fun. Okay, so. D-Sides. How? D-Sides. Um, I didn't realise that a lot of the songs I just randomly found on like YouTube Music were from D sides. Um the swagger that I believe is on hold on one second. Um I believe that's on this. Um as a I think it was. It's been a while since I've watched it. Um or just at least put it in to the um DVD player. And uh yeah, I, I believe it was on this. So I have had some exposure to the songs on D sides before. Um Bill Murray, Rocket, of course. Um 
you know, CD1 is um, all the songs that I've kind of heard before. Um, and yeah, I, I like them. It, it's, it's, it's new songs, you know. Um, CD2 is a lot of where the remixes come in and I'm not, I've, I've, just to preface this, I've never been a fan of remixes. I've always hated them. I've never seen the point in them. It's just taking an existing song and making it sound different, in my opinion. And if people hate that opinion, then fair enough. Mind about it in the comments. But, um, you know, about the only remix I like is the Clint Eastwood one. The, um, freaking hell, what's it called? The Ed Case and Sweetie Irie refix it's about the only one i like because it actually gets me up and dancing you know all all of the remixes on this i, I just don't vibe with I, I don't see the point in um you know but then like i said i've never seen the point in remixes um so i was never gonna like them in the first place no matter if they are a gorilla set of gorilla songs I'm sorry. That's just my opinion on the remixes in this. Um, like I Come Home. Another album that, again, didn't really vibe with me. Um, it. I don't know what to say. I, it just. It didn't really pique my interest, you know, um, I got about halfway through the album, and I just, you know, I got bored, but I carried it on, um, you know, and, um, I don't know what to say, it, it didn't vibe with me, um, it's not a bad album, I'm not saying that because it's bad, it's not a bad album, I can see why the um, you know there'd be people who like it fair enough to them if that's this is the music they kind of like coming out from gorillas then fair enough but i like the standard traditional side of gorillas um you know with like your cracker islands and your song machines and stuff like that but uh, you know, Gorillas have always been an, a band that collaborates with people, and I believe this is a collaboration with another um, band or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check on this. Um, but yeah, didn't vibe with Leica. Uh, again, I don't really know what else to say. Um, G sides, on the other hand. Um, a short little album, a, a one, a one vinyl, sort of one CD thing. Um, you know, again, there's about only one remix on this, and that's nineteen two thousand. Um, I've already stated my things about that. Dracula's pretty cool. Um, the radio edit for Rock the House is really good. Um, Faust, I really like Faust, Hip Albatross, um, 1, 2, D, 3, really nice and calm. Um, it's got the Fire Life Cypher version of Clint Eastwood, which is my prefer. I like the original Clint Eastwood, don't get me wrong, but I like, um, I prefer like the Fire Life Cypher rap on it. You know, it's got a bit more beat to it. Um, Ghost Train is really good. I really like Ghost Train. Ghost Train is really funky. Um, you know, all all of these opinions that I know in the end are just going to be controversial opinions. But you know, a lot of songs on G sides I really liked. Um, only CD one of D sides I liked. Whereas I liked both side A, side B of G sides. Um, so, 
yeah, I mean, The Fall, still a really good album. I really like it. I recommend it. Give it people who haven't heard it before. I will say, give it a chance. Um, again, just remember, it was recorded on an iPad. I, I don't, I don't understand all the flack people give this album. I really don't. Um, like Come Home. I can see people enjoying it. I can see why people enjoy it. But I don't enjoy it. I, I can't vibe with Like Come Home. I, I really can't. Um, you know, and I've been listening to it on my um, record player down here. And um, I'm sorry. So uh, I'm not going to rank him. Can't be bothered with ranking videos anymore, or at the moment anyway. Um, those are my opinions on G size, D size, like a, and the fall. I don't hate them. A lot of a couple of them just aren't my thing. I don't like the remixes, and that's pretty much it. So um, to not keep your time any longer, I'm gonna go. I have a Patreon um feel free to support me on that the link to it is in my about page like the video if you like the video i doubt people will because i have some controversial opinions and leave a comment why you hate my controversial opinions and stuff like that you know yay youtube um but yeah for those of you that did like the video please like the video um subscribe to see more stuff in the future that's going to be it from me. Bye-bye.